The homeland of the Rusins, otherwise known as Carpathian Ruthenia, is a land filled with mountains and history. Now divided by Romania, Poland, Slovakia, and Ukraine, this area is a borderland between Central and Eastern Europe. Unlike the great Northern European plain in which the other descendants of the Rus live, this territory is filled with mountains, rivers, valleys, and caves. Such an area like this makes for incredible difficulty in conquering and ruling over it. In total, the area equals roughly the size of that of New Jersey, small yet not insignificant. The majority of the land is covered by the Carpathian mountain chain, stretching through much of the territory except for a small plain in the south of Zakarpatia. To be more specific, the central and eastern Beskids cover much of the Rusna areas. The chains generally rise in elevation going from west to east, the highest peak being Huverla at 2,061 meters in the far east of the historical homeland. Rusins make up the majority of these high elevation areas. These villages are usually in the valley between two mountains and also commonly next to rivers. With these remote villages over time, there is quite a bit of variation in terms of accent and phrases between certain areas. If you are a Rusin or speak Rusin and would like to learn more about these differences, I encourage you to check out Mihail and Tomasz's long-form video on the topic. Starting in the 14 and 1500s following flock migrations from the south, the Hungarian kingdom encouraged settlement of Rusins and Vlachs alike to the borderlands in an effort to secure their territory from raiders and armies. Settlements in the far west, like Tiki Potok, are quite young in comparison to some villages in Zakarpatia and Marmurej. While the Preshav area Rusins and Lemkos in Poland can connect to each other through quite a few mountain passes, many of which you would be hard-pressed to realize it was actually a mountain pass, the options in connecting eastern Galicia to Zakarpatia is minimal. This was a huge factor in the widespread differences between Ukrainians and Rusins, as well as the connectivity of Lemka Rusins to their brothers and sisters in the south. As for the climate, most of the area is continental to humid continental in nature. This means primarily four distinct seasons and great changes of temperature depending on the time of year, another standout point being one of the highest concentrations of primeval beech forests in the entirety of Europe spanning both Rusin regions in Slovakia and Ukraine. Also crossing through the territory is rivers such as the Tysa, Poprad, and others, helping create a diverse portfolio of scenery and freshwater supply. As one would expect with all this nature, there are a great number of nature reserves and parks, some of the best being the Carpathian Biosphere Reserve and Sinever National Park in Zakarpatia. Though there are, of course, many more that you should check out. Because of all this beautiful nature, well, we let's just say have some of the best diversity of animals around, ranging from the European bison, quick note, one of the only areas in Europe that still have them, interestingly, to lynx, and for all intents and purposes, our people's national symbol, bears. I hope you learned a little bit more about my people's historical homeland, and what makes the area so special, both geographically and also in nature. Mycia.